If your Doge Miner has this issue with a flashing red light at the top left and a solid red light at the bottom, you will probably need to run this as a Wi-Fi if you notice that black antenna at the bottom. First thing you would do is press this button. There's a button right underneath that flashing red light. Press the button and hold it for 10 seconds. Once the Doge Miner resets, go into your Wi-Fi on your laptop or on your phone and you will find something called Gold Shell in your Wi-Fi settings. What you want to do is double click on that and it would connect to your Mini Doge as a hotspot. You go to open up your browser, you type in 192.168.0.1 and that way you can access your mini doge directly without going through the Wi-Fi. Once you open your browser and you access the 192.168.0.1, click on the top left where it has those three lines click on that then click on system then you find the router that you would be using to connect to your mini doge then you'll click on that put in your username password then now your mini doge is connected to your router via Wi-Fi once you have that connected that flashing red light at the top left turns to a solid blue but the red light where the power supply connects to your mini doge miner is still solid red which means you need to go on the gold shell website go to pull settings and set that up once you go on the gold shell website click on support and there's a link that says find my miner click on that now you should have access to your mini doge miner um, on the home tab on your left hand side if you're on the home tab you should be able to click on something that says add pool settings so click on add pool settings you click on your F2 pool and your username you need to make sure your username is the same username as whatever you use for your pool whether if it's uh, F2 pool um, that was my main mistake that I made and I finally figured it out hours and hours later so make sure that username matches the same name as whatever pool you're using such as F2 pool that's what I've been using put in your username Put in your password, then you should be good to go. Give it a couple seconds, it'll link up. Then you will have your blue flashing light at the top left. Then that solid red light at the bottom where your power supply is connected to your miner, that turns to solid green. Now, that should be everything and everything should be up and running.